there's an important definition, and I mentioned it in the text from last week, but I should probably put it in one of the videos too. If the operation for a group is commutative, that is, if whenever you take two elements of the group, AB is equal to BA, no matter what two elements of the group you pick, we say that that group is abelian. On the other hand, if you can find any two elements where that is not true, if you can find any two elements where AB is not the same as BA, then the group is non abelian. It's a really important thing here to show that it is abelian all of the time AB must equal BA. No matter what two elements you take you can multiply them in either order. However, if you can find even a single thing, a single pair where AB is not equal to BA, then that group's non abelian. The group of the last video GL2R is a very important example of a non-abelian group. Matrix multiplication is not commutative. But now I want to take a look at an example of a group that is commutative. The set I'm going to look at only has four elements. One, three, seven, and 9. And the operation is, matri is multiplication mod 10. Because we have such a small set of elements, it's very easy to create a Cayley table for this. So that's what I'm going to do. Now multiplication by 1 is very easy. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 9 is 9, and the same thing down here. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 7 is 21, but when I take it mod 10, that effectively just cuts it down to the last digit. 3 times 7 is 21, chops it down to a 1. 3 times 9 is 27, chopped to the last digit, makes that a 7. 7 times 3 is 21, chopped down to a 1. 7 times 7 is 49, chopped down to a 9. 7 times 9 is 63, chopped down to a 3. 9 times 3 is 27, 63, 81. From this Cayley table, we can see a few things. First of all, 1 is an identity. Not a big surprise, multiplying by 1 doesn't change what you're multiplying by. But we can also see that every element has an inverse. 3 times 7 gives us 1, and 7 times 3 gets us 1, so 3 and 7 are inverses of each other. 9 times 9 gives us 1, so 9 is its own inverse. This thing is associative. because it's based on regular multiplication and we know multiplication is associative. We just showed it had an identity and it had inverses so therefore this is a group. But now let's take a look at a similar thing that's not a group. Let's look at the set 0, 1, 2, 3 and look at the operation being multiplication mod 4. Multiplying by 0 is really easy. 
Multiplying by 1 is really easy. 2 times 2 is 4. Mod 4 is 0. 2 times 3 is 6. Mod 4 is 2. 3 times 2. 3 times 3 is 9. Mod 4 is 1. Now, this is not a group. This operation is associative. It does have an identity. 1 is an identity, but not everything has an inverse. 0, there's nothing I can multiply it by to get 1. Same thing with 2. There's nothing I can multiply 2 by to get 1 under this operation. So this is not a group.